Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Today I want to cover how to wire a relay. Just really simple, really quick, basic relay wiring. And then I'll go into LS swap specific wiring and how I do it. So let's begin. What I have here is, uh, let me pull this up. So you have your basic Bosch wiring relay. That's what they're called. They're called Bosch relays. All right, so you have your basic, this is a five pin. Some of them are four pins. You guys know what I'm talking about here. They have these crazy little diagrams on them and they have a bunch of pins sticking out of them and I whatever make fun of me if you want I struggled with how to wire up relays I, I really couldn't grasp it you know and I always watch these videos and there's some guy on there going oh well the reason for this is to pull the high it's real simple when you get down to it and I'm gonna make it real simple they're all labeled the same numbers whether they have, some of them will have this 87A and some won't. So, other than that, all four or five pin relays are the same. You wire pin 85 to constant chassis ground. You wire pin 86 to constant 12 volt. Use a fuse, an appropriate size fuse for what you're doing, but use a fuse. Pin 86, 12 volts, constant. Pin 30 is your trigger, your switch, your PCM, whatever. Whatever you're using to turn the thing on and off that you're wiring a relay to goes to pin 30. Pin 87 is the thing being controlled. Your fan, your light bar, whatever. That's it. That's how you wire a relay. Um, if that's all you need to know, you don't have to watch the video any further. So, thanks for watching. If you're specifically trying to wire, wire LS, um, relays I'll show you how I do it and I do it using the instructions found at lt1swap.com so again thank you to Brendan for providing all that stuff and I want to make sure that I give him credit I didn't come up with this I'm not an electrician or an electrical engineer these things are as difficult and bewildering to me as they are to many of you so um, let's go over how I do that so for your fuel pump Pin 85 is going to be ground, like always. Pin 86 is going to be 12 volts in from your battery. Again, use a fuse. Um, pin 30 is going to be the PCM pin from the red connector. It's pin number 9. And you should have that labeled on your harness if you followed Brendan's instructions and did it yourself. Or if you bought one, your fuel pump wire from pin number 9 goes to relay pin 30. I hope that's not confusing. Pin 30 on the relay goes to your fuel pump wiring from your PCM, which should be out of the red connector number 9. Or whatever, if you have a green-blue. And pin number 87, as always, is your output to your fuel pump. And that's it. Now, you should know that if you wire your fuel pump this way which is the way I have mine wired if you wire it like factory the PCM will only provide power to this relay for like two seconds um, so you hit the key everything powers up and the PCM will power this relay for like two seconds if it doesn't sense that it's cranking or running if it doesn't see a crank signal within two seconds it cuts power it won't keep pumping fuel for no reason so that might help you in troubleshooting later. For electric fans, this is how I do it. There's about 75 million ways to do it. This is how I do it and it works for me. I use a Taurus fan. Um, it's actually off a of Mercury Villager, but it's like the same fan in a different shroud. I get these for like, I don't know, they're like $22 or something at the junkyard. Um, I don't mess with anything else. I just use Taurus fans. They've been working for me for 15 years. Um, so this is how I do it. 
This is how you can do any two-speed fan, though, really. First, you have to add the wiring, which your harness maker, or if you follow the instructions, you should have done it. Um, on a 9902 harness, pin 42 out of the blue connector, you have to add a pin in. And on the red connector, pin 33, there's a pin there, and you just keep it for the fan, too. Um, and 03 to 07, a drive-by wire harness, you're going to have a blue and a green connector. The blue connector, pin 42, you add the pin in for fan 1 control. Uh, 05 and up, they started putting electric fans in the trucks. So it'll actually have a pin there usually, but not necessarily. At any rate, on both, you need a pin in 42 on the first connector and a pin in 33 on the second connector. And that is for pin, that's for your relay control. As I noted here, pin 42 is low, pin 33 is high. Pin 42 is your low speed, that's fan 1. Fan 1 is low speed, fan 2 is high speed. You have to make changes in the factory programming in order to make these outputs be fan controlled. So I will open up my HP tuners real quick. Um, This is how you do this in HP tuners. This is my nephew's truck, it's an 04. Um, I already have this licensed because I tuned it for him, so we'll open his tune file. Now always, 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 the first thing you do in HP tuners is save your file as something else. So that was his stock file. I don't want to overwrite it. I don't want to make any changes. I don't want to screw it up. So always save first. Come over here to system. You see his fan type is no fans because he has a mechanical fan. I'm going to change it to two fans. And then I'm going to go here to AC. And it says recircular recirculation fitted, and that has to be set. On, it'll usually be this. I don't know why his wasn't, but that should be on fan number two, okay? And that because that pin uh, 33 was originally for the recirc door. The PCM controlled that. So over here, you have to actually set these. Uh, the delay and all that stuff, the temp on, temp off. A lot of people will just open a compare file from a Camaro or whatever and use those settings, or you can program them yourself. But you see right now, it has, you know, it won't come on until it's 284 degrees and it'll go off. So basically, it's disabled. So you come in here and set it to like whatever you want, like 210, uh, 190. Or you can just copy the Cam the Camaro settings from a 2002 Camaro, which everybody else does. Just download that file from the repository and open a compare file. So here's my compare file from what I had before on uh, my C10. And they were coming on at 219 and going off at 212. You can get that set up however you want. Fan 2 was coming on at 226 and going off at 219. So then you just save it. And you need to write it when you're actually hooked in. I don't have an ECM sitting here or my bench harness. But you write it when you're hooked in, and that's it. Your fans will work. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. So that's basically how you do it in HP tuners. Um, then you have to do the actual wiring, which is not fun. I'm going to open this all the way up. So for this, I use two 5-pin relays. Okay, and I shouldn't have closed that, but I did. So here we are. Um, 
I get them from Amazon. You can get a whole pack of them, and they come on a little thing, and they have pigtails and everything, which makes it really easy. Uh, they work fine. These work fine. I'll have a link to them in the description. There's there's no reason not to use them, but they work fine for me. So anyway, you'll have a low-speed relay and a high-speed relay. That's how I do it. Just like this diagram right here. And this is up at lt1swap.com. And I'll have it on the Driveway Engineer Facebook page in our file section also. So what you basically have here is a low speed relay and a high speed relay. On the relay pin 85 on the low, spin, low speed relay is going to be pin 42 in from the PCM. And that's what triggers our low speed fan on. Relay pin 86 is out to relay number 2, pin 87A. What that does is that'll interrupt the power so you don't dual feed it low and high speed power. So by, by sending this power from 86 over here to 87A, that trips it so that it won't power on. Both relays at the same time. Pin 87 is 12 volts out to the low speed side of the fan and pin 30 is 12 volts in from the battery. So you should have a fuse here, and then bam, your power goes into pins 30 on both relays. This goes out to your low speed wiring on your fan. Next up you have your high speed relay. That'll be pin 85, is pin 33 in your high speed PCM pin. Pin 86, it's going to be 12 volts in from the battery. Again, have it fused to have appropriate size wire. Pin 87 is the thing you want to run your 12 volt fan. Pin 30 is 12 volts in from the battery also. And relay pin 87A, which is going to be the little one in the middle, um, is coming from the other relay to cut the power out. And that's it. You have now wired your fuel pump and your fans or your fan. If you're just if you're doing two separate fans, you can just use these to wire them like that and put pin 33 on pin 30 of one and pin 42 on pin 30 of both, which would trigger both relays at once if you want it. There's a bunch of ways to skin a cat. You can run pin 30 to both of them if you wanted both of them to run on high. I just use the Taurus fan. It has a low and a high. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully this clears up some of the confusion that people have that I know I had in wiring relays. It, it turns out it's really simple, but it doesn't seem really simple when you're trying to do it. So anyway, I hope this helps. I'll have links to everything in the description that you need. Uh... Also, this will be up in the file section of the Driveway Engineer Facebook group, so you can join up there. And uh, if you have any other questions, if there's anything else you'd like to see, leave me a note in the comments. Um, I'm going to keep trying to do these LS Basic series videos, but I'm kind of running out of ideas. So I really kind of need to hear from you guys what you want to see. So thanks for watching. I hope I haven't rambled too long. And be sure to like and subscribe for more. And we'll see you next time.